Now it's the question on everyone's mind, when will the pandemic end? Bloomberg's vaccine tracker predicts when we will reach herd immunity globally. But we'll warn you, the answer may make you cringe. Quick Takes Madison Mills is here to bring us into the timeline. Maddie, thank you for being here. And what can you tell us about when we can move past this pandemic? Right, Renita. So the goal here is 75% of the population getting vaccinated. That's when our vaccine tracker says we will reach herd immunity and be able to move past this pandemic. So that's the end goal here, right? And brace yourselves. Globally, it's looking like it's going to be a little over seven years until we can reach oh. that 75% <laughs> immunity. I seven know. years. And, you know, this is probably also not uh, that exciting. But in the U.S., that number plummets to about one full year, uh, meaning that we'll be able to ring in the new year, uh, 2022, potentially maskless. So that's something to look forward to. Okay. Uh, yes, but it's also, you know, it's a global pandemic, right? And we're seeing that uh, only about 30% of the world is, of the world's countries have started to vaccinate their populations. And wealthier countries are scooping up these shots in droves, leaving lower income countries behind without a way to vaccinate their populations. So until we get the whole world on track to reach this herd immunity, we're going to be dealing with this virus. Wait, pause, Maddie. I need to know how our reporters came up with this number here at Bloomberg. Can you walk us through the methodology? Sure. So it is important to note that this is a snapshot in time, right? This is just what the timeline looks like today. Okay. Uh, things like the snowstorm in New York this past week really slowed down New York's timeline. It went from 13 months until we're all vaccinated to 17, and now it's back to 13 after that snowstorm died down. Uh, and also, it doesn't account for upcoming vaccine developments. Yesterday, for example, we saw Johnson & Johnson filing for emergency authorization in the U.S. We're already stocking up about 100 million shots of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, preparing to dole those out to the U.S. population. So that's going to speed up the timeline a lot. The Biden administration has set aside a lot of additional funding for health care providers on the ground to make sure that they can get the resources needed to get shots into people's arms quickly. So all of that will speed up the timeline, hopefully. Now, this timeline is based on the research that Dr. Fauci recommended. So can you walk us through very quickly what that herd immunity threshold is mm -hmm. and how vaccine developments might affect this timeline for reaching that immunity? Sure. So Dr. Fauci said herd immunity is anywhere from 70 to 80 percent of the population being vaccinated. But it's important to note that we're not talking about natural immunity here. And the reason is because we just don't know yet how long people are immune to the virus after they've already had it. Right now, we think it's about six months. It could be longer. It could be shorter. Uh, but that could also be a factor in us reaching that critical herd immunity as well. All right. Quick takes Madison Mills. Thank you so much. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.